What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at two chain rule derivatives that I think should be in jail. These two derivatives have given my students so much trouble over the years, and even though they don't test this anymore on the AP Calculus test, they're definitely worth looking at. So first up here, we have y equals square root x squared plus 1, and we want to find the derivative of y squared with respect to x squared. So for this question here, the first thing we could do is find y squared. y squared would be equal to just x squared plus 1. So we're just squaring both sides, and that's going to break the radical. And from here, you want to think about what do they mean by the derivative of y squared with respect to x squared. So that would be finding dy squared over dx squared. That's what they mean by the derivative of y squared with respect to x squared. But it would be much nicer if it said something like this, like let's say du dw. This would be way nicer. And we can make it say something like this if we let u equal y squared and we let w equal x squared. So now let's go ahead and just make a substitution. Instead, we're going to have u equals, and instead of x squared plus 1, we're going to have w plus 1. So if our goal is to find the derivative of y squared with respect to x squared, then we just need to find du dw, and du dw would just be equal to 1. So the actual technique behind this, I wouldn't say is crazy difficult. It's coming up with the idea that's going to be challenging. Now, there is an alternate method to solving this. So what you could also do here is you're starting from this y squared equals x squared plus 1. And you could find this derivative all in one shot without making a substitution. So we could find the derivative with respect to x squared of both sides. So we're doing d over dx squared of both sides like this. Except on the right side, I'm going to use the chain rule. I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to have to tack on a dx over dx squared like this. You can see that dx over dx would just cancel. So I'm basically just using the chain rule on the right side. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of algebra here. I'm going to rewrite this as the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus 1. And then we're going to divide by, we're going to have dx squared over dx like this. But just know this expression I could rewrite. I'm going to have the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus 1. And on bottom, I could rewrite this as the derivative with respect to x of just x squared. And now this will simplify nice. The derivative of the top is 2x, and the derivative of the bottom is also 2x. And this would just simplify to 1 here, also giving us choice d. So now for the second and final question here, I know this question personally has devastated many students. We have y equals x squared plus x, and we want to find the derivative of y with respect to 1 over 1 minus x. So for this one here, what we could do is we could say u equals 1 over 1 minus x. So then the test becomes taking the derivative of y with respect to u. Okay, so I'm just thinking of this as u because that's much easier to think about to take the derivative of y with respect to u. Because if I'm starting with y equals x squared plus x and I want to find the derivative of y with respect to u, this is a much nicer looking problem. Otherwise, what you would have to be thinking about here is you would be taking the derivative of y with respect to 1 over 1 minus x. And this just looks very sloppy here. So I'm just going to call u 1 over 1 minus x. So then dy du, I have to use the chain rule here. I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus x, but now I just have to tack on here dx over du to complete the chain rule. And now this I'm going to rewrite. I'm going to have the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus x, and we'll just make this one a little neater. And then I'm going to write divided by, we're going to have du dx. Okay, so if I need to reverse this, I could go right back to this step but I want to have over du dx like this. So then I'm actually going to calculate what is du dx, and I'm going to rewrite this as 1 minus x to the negative 1. So now to find du dx here, I just have to use the chain rule, and what we have is the derivative of the outside. We're going to have minus 1 times 1 minus x to the negative second like this, and the derivative of the inside is negative 1 like this. So that tells us that du dx is going to be equal to, and we're going to have negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So this will just work out to 1 minus x, to the negative second. So now I could simplify things here. The derivative of the top is 2x plus 1, and then du dx on bottom is 1 minus x to the negative second. That's what we just found in the previous line. So now notice none of the answer choices have a negative exponent. So I'm going to send this back up, and I'm going to have to put 2x plus 1 in parentheses. So I'll have 2x plus 1 times 1 minus x to the second power, and this will match up with choice A.